Hi, my name is Jeff Weiss. I'm an Oracle Applications DBA at GE Digital. I've been an Oracle DBA for the past 28 years and working with Oracle Applications as an Apps DBA for the last 20. A few years back when I was a production DBA at a defense contractor, I used to get calls in the middle of the night and my manager would be freaking out saying, all our concurrent jobs are backing up. You know, something's hung, we, we need to bounce something. And I'd get on the system and I'd look and I would see all these very long running jobs blocking all the queues. And that was keeping, you know, all these short, fast jobs like printing shipping labels from happening. So, you know, because I'm an old cranky guy, I don't like getting woken up in the middle of the night. I said, there's gotta be a better way. So I started thinking about it and said, well, what happens now is system administrators say, oh, the jobs are backing up. Let me add another 20 workers. Let me add another 100 workers. Let me create a special queue for our GL jobs so they don't get backed up. Let me create one for warehouse shipping. Let me create a queue for this, for that. The next thing you know, you've got 30, 40 different custom queues with four or 500 different workers, and they never took into account the size of your server the number of CPUs, the amount of memory. So all of a sudden your servers are overloaded and things are running slower. So what I came up with was a way to rethink it in terms of functionality and just break it down into time. How long does a job take to run? So I broke it down and said, I don't want the long jobs to block any of the really fast, quick ones. I, I want those to run unfettered. So I said, okay, let's break it up into jobs that finish in under a minute. We'll put those in the standard queue. And then we'll create five custom queues. A one to five minute, a five to 15, 15 to 30, 30 to 16, and over 60. By breaking it down like that, you can ensure that those really long resource intensive jobs, you can limit them. Say maybe only five can run at a time. You know, but for your very fast jobs, you can have enough workers that, you know, they just run through immediately. And then when I joined GE, who's really big on the Six Sigma, I said, well, let's try and tweak this model and make it even better. And instead of just looking at the average, let's look at the average plus three standard deviations. And if you look at uh, it's the bell curve for statistics, 99.7% of the jobs will complete within the average runtime plus or minus three standard deviations. So it really makes the job that you put into a specific queue fit better. And what we found is after implementing this model, I never got a single call again about my jobs are hung, my, my print jobs aren't printing. Um, I took this model and we implemented it uh, at GE in one of the divisions where they run about 100,000 reports a day. And from the, the day they went live with this, they never again had a single problem of their labels not printing on time, the warehouse not being able to ship. So it's something that helped us greatly and hopefully it can help you.